Hello boys and girls, my name's Tom and this is Safe House. Last week saw Los Angeles play host to the Electronics Entertainment Expo, which is like Christmas for video gamers. Except instead of getting presents, you get told about things that you can't have yet. So like real Christmas. This is the first half of our two-part E3 extravaganza, and these are the conferences we'll be covering in part one. Bethesda. Microsoft. EA. Ubisoft. And joining me today to talk about these things, I have my good friend and co-host James Pickard. Hello. Hello. Um, shit, the bed. What's happened, isn't it? It's been quite the week. It's been quite a week. So, first things first, the one thing that everyone's more excited about than anything else is Fallout 4. Yeah. Oh my god, Fallout 4. We might have to change that as we get further on. Yeah, I was going to say that the, mo- the thing that I'm most excited <laughs> about is Fallout 4. So yeah. we, um, we spoke about this a lot, however long ago it was now. Yes, However, we made new our, stuff. We made our sort of guesses mm. and, and we talked about the trailer when it first uh, dropped. But yeah, we've got Fallout Shelter. Which is the, oh, yeah, the little app? Game. You got an app game for it. Uh, the Pit Boy Special Edition, which ships with an actual physical Pit Boy, uh, which fits on your arm. You slide your phone into it, and then you have an app that you can update your inventory in real time while you play the game. Which is and just cosplay. so so good. Oh yeah, I mean, you better believe I've pre-ordered <laughs> it. You better believe I've pre-ordered that, and that I will be. I've joined the game uh, Vault Boy Club, so I get a bobblehead and. I'm one of the first, like, however many, it is like the first 100,000 people to pre order get mm. stuff. So yeah. when my, my game turns up in November, be a it's, massive it's going to be a massive crate with stuff in it. So <laughs> It's pretty nice. Yeah. But yeah, um, the guy, when he presented it on stage, he said something like, of all the stupid fucking gimmicky things, mm. this Pit Boy is the best fucking one. <laughs> yes, easily. It's I'm I will just wear that on a daily basis. I'm gonna just wear it to work. Just as a watch. <laughs> yeah. Just just wear a Pit Boy because I so can. The game? No. The game though. <laughs> um. Yeah. So lots of customization. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. You can customize so your weapons, your power armor. There's a Minecraft style. Yeah, that's system. You can build your own little house, build a little settlement. You can build several settlements. You can set run caravans. caravans. Just what? It's there were, there so were no other games. No. One needs to exist. That's it. So it's from just Fallout 4. November onwards, anything, basically anything on this list we've got, which is a long list, <laughs> anything on this list that uh, is coming out after, what, November the 10th, isn't it? Mm. Anything after that might as well not bother. Don't worry, it's going to be all late 2016 anyway. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, there's a, a long waiting list on them. <laughs> Also, in the Bethesda conference, Dishonored 2. Pretty hype for that. Pretty hype, because, you know, I like Dishonored. It was my new, game of the year that year. New character. Play yeah, as he plays Corvo Emily. or Emily. Yeah. Clearly going to play as Emily. Clearly, clearly <laughs> Emily's got a really cool <laughs> smoke hand. Mm, extendable fucking stretch arms. From yeah, it's pretty good. Thing. So, Dishonored will be more of the same, which is fine. Looks good. Uh, Doom. It's fucking Doom. It's Doom. It's high res Doom. Brutal Lots of the... shit. Yeah, I watched the <laughs> trailer for that. There's a lot of blood and guts. <laughs> so, you know, if you're into your blood and guts, Doom. With crowd whooping because E3. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, that's pretty much Bethesda that of Bethesda. the ones that you know were interesting. Uh, which brings us on to Microsoft Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. Doom. Yeah, they've got exclusivity for X period of time. Yeah. Um, after Square Enix said Jeez. the first game sold disappointingly, Bullshit. they went exclusivity on one console. Yeah, because that's, to sell more. that that helps. Yeah, I'm just gonna as soon as it comes out on PC, I'll get it because I actually really liked the Tomb Raider. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was a solid game. Yeah, it um, was just Uncharted, but yeah. with Lara Croft. The cycle of Uncharted <laughs> copies Tomb Raider. Now oh, Tomb Raider yeah. console. Yeah. It will continue forever. Mm. But um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. I will play it and I expect it to be a solid 7 or 8 out of 10. Sounds good. Uh, then we had Gears of 4. I will not play it. I will not play it. it to be yeah, a solid, solid 3 out of 10. <laughs> yeah. It'll and they showed, they did the, gears. the first gameplay demo. It was fucking boring. Mm. It was one, I think it's bad again, but I honestly couldn't see because it was so dark. And he went through and shot some things. There was a woman there shooting things with him. Good. The storm in the background looked pretty nice. But 
But at the end of the day, it's Gears of War game. You're going to shoot things. Kind of, kind of reach my peak with that. They've yeah. remastered all the, the first trilogy as well. Yeah. In case you wanted to play through them again for reasons. Who knows? So that's, that's I don't. Your choice. As it happens. It's coming to PC. I only well. played, I think, the first one. I did the first. It was all right. Two, three. I enjoyed the multiplayer, which yeah, is unusual fun. for me. I don't like multiplayer in games. Yeah, I enjoy the cop more than the. Oh yeah, definitely, one. definitely. Um, but no, back then that was it. Was Gears was awesome. It was like this meaty mm. third-person shooter. Yeah. Chainsaw, which felt yeah, awesome chains, to use. Chainsaw gun was pretty fun. And the active reload, which was really nice. Mm. But it's just kind of done with it now. Yeah, it had its time. Mm. Move on. Please. Um, Battleborn. That's yeah, I don't know much about this. Battleborn is You're the first-person shooter coming from uh, Gearbox, mm -hmm. the the creators of the Borderlands. Um, looks all right. Yeah, looks, it these. looks like their sort of take on a Team Fortress kind of thing. Um, the the tagline is something like you know for every kind of badass. Mm -hmm. So you've got a character who is. You know, a big meaty guy with a massive club, and then you've got like a ninja, and you've got like a cowboy, and mm. basically every archetype of badass is a playable character. It looks like it'll be a Team Fortress style, just team shooter. It's all right. The problem is, Overwatch is coming out as well. Yeah, that's it. There's another one. <laughs> I think people are jumping on that. Yeah. I think what's happened is everyone jumped on the MOBA train. And then the, the games devs have gone, oh shit, everyone's jumping on the MOBA train. What can we do that's not that? And everyone's had the same idea at the same time. And now they're all doing first person shooters. Um, team team, team, yeah. team co op. MOBA ish. Yeah. Shooters. So there you go. But you know, it mm. looks. If it's, if it's made by the Borderlands guys, then in theory it'll be alright. Yeah, I Hopefully mean, it'll have some jokes. Fun enough to play, I guess. That's, that's the thing. EA. Mass Effect. Yeah, that was a big one. That's the big one out of there. Um, Mass Effect and Andromeda, is it? Yes. Uh, Cue all the jokes about the TV show. Yeah, with, with Kevin Sorbel. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's not in it. Oh, um, mate, I play that. It's set some time. I, I don't know if I'm sticking with Fallout of 200 years, but it's set yeah. some millenniums after the first game. Okay. Uh, the, sorry, the third game. So Shepard's gone. Yep. That's all distant history. Yeah. Um, so it's basically, it doesn't matter how you ended the game. And uh, yeah, you're exploring a new galaxy. So even that's somewhere else. But it oh. looks like they're they're doubling down on the whole exploration side of it rather okay. than the big storytelling stuff. Fair enough. Um, so the Mako's back from the first game. The horrible vehicle that controlled like ass. <laughs> Excellent. Like, sent you backwards. Good. Hopefully they fix that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, more Mass Effect. Good. I'm ready for it. Yeah, I'm can't go wrong it. with those little conversation wheels. Mm. Always a good time. Uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Yeah. Catalyst, I think it is. Uh, the first game was really good until the, the final Until the <laughs> guns <laughs> happened. Although they have specifically said mm. that there's going to be no guns in Mirror's Edge Catalyst. No guns well, that whatsoever. That you can use, or none uh, at by all. The, by the looks of the... Because uh, I watched the trailer earlier... Mm. Even the guards don't have guns. Huh. The guards like come at you with like martial arts fisty punches. So cool. okay. maybe the guns are gone entirely. Mm. Which hopefully they've learned their lesson and gone be no nice. guns, no guns. Because Mirror's Edge was a really good idea that mm. they kind of fucked a bit. Yeah. Um, so hopefully this will be good. It's open world as well. It's open world free running. Mm. Which will be pretty fun. Um, Lots more places to fall to your death. Because yeah, you can't see where you jump. Misjudge. <laughs> Then for honor, is that EA or was that Ubisoft? This is Ubisoft. Ubisoft now. Christ, we are moving. Well, the through. rest of EA was fucking sports games. EA was sports. NHL, yeah, we yeah. don't. They, like they're the fucking same. Sports. Well, sports games. Sports games are usually garbage. Um. So for honor. Yeah. What's all that your, saying? All your classic warriors of history. Yeah. Knights, samurai, all that shit. Cool. Fighting. In the third person. Sounds good. Third so it's basically Deadliest Warrior, game, the TV show. Yeah, but with team based brawling. I'm kind of interested in that. The fucking guy who came up to present it mm. was like a Viking, a literal Viking. Okay, <laughs> um, well, I'll take that. His game looks pretty metal as well. Awesome. So that could be interesting. Yeah, I'd be up for giving that a go. I do like a good historical battle mm. thing, it's always good. fun. It's good. 
Um, the Division. There's some new Division mm. stuff. Now, when the Division was first announced, you may recall those many hazy moons ago, wiggle wiggle thing, um, in last year's E3 extravaganza, I was quite hyped for the Division. Now, I've come back to it now, I haven't really thought about it because we've got to a year later and it's still not fucking released. Yeah. Um, and they showed off a bunch of PvP gameplay, a couple of new trailers. I'm, I, I care less now than I did a year yeah, ago. It, it was they really made weird. anti-hype. Yeah, because the, the thing was like, hey, what about all this loot? And it's some kind of loot game yeah. where you go around raiding treasure chests for gear and guns and items. Yeah, like, well, and then at the end you can betray your friends and steal the gear. Well, what that sounds horrible. Fuck? That's Why would you want that? It's going to be so horrible to play yeah. with random people. That's That was the thing I found. Like Even in the gameplay trailer, you've got the guys who like, oh yeah, we team up with this, this other group to mm. take down some rogue people. And then we killed them and stole all their gear. And he's like, well, no, you're just as bad as the... <laughs> What's your problem? It looks like some game designer has gone, that's an amazing idea in, in theory. But in practice, it's going to be awful because mm. it's just going to be people trolling each other all the yeah. time. Yeah. And you're just going to have a horrible time. Rainbow Six Siege. More Tom Clancy. More Tom Clancy. So get all their money's worth out of that. Like yeah, got to milk, milk that cow. Um, it's fucking Counter-Strike. I think we, we talked about it last year. It still yeah. looks like Counter-Strike. But there's Terrorist Hunt. There is Terrorist Hunt, which was the best which part the of best the Vegas ever. games. Yeah. Uh, Rainbow Six, Vegas 1 and 2. Which will be included in the game. I'll be honest, so you might as well buy instead. this, if you haven't played those, buy this just for those, because Vegas 2 is, is one of my all-time favourite like co-op shooter games. So good. It's absolutely amazing. You can bre breach and clear. <laughs> breach and clear. So <laughs> much fun. Hunt, so good. That brings us to the end of Ubisoft. Yeah, they had fucking, by the way, they had Jason Derulo at their show, because, you know, Just Dance is still a thing. Is it, though? Is it, <laughs> really? Just Dance 2016, and here to present it... Jason Derulo singing awfully. Did he have his top off? No. I Are said, you sure? I, I said as soon as he came on, oh, it's not going to be long before he takes his top off. Yeah. But he kept his top off. Uh, are you sure it wasn't like, he was did restrained. he have a t-shirt painted onto his torso? Because <laughs> I'm fairly been. sure he is cursed to never wear a top. But yeah. But the thing is, they Ubisoft again, they got uh, Isha Tyler to present it. And she nails it every time. Yeah, she is brilliant. Because she just realises how much of the silly nonsense that then E3 Mental, is. Mental, yeah. With Trey Parker and Matt Stone as well. Yeah, that's it. they oh, announced that's, a new South yeah, Park game. Yeah, new South game. Park. The, the fractured butt oh. hole. <laughs> oh, South they, Park. they came out and were brilliant as they yeah. were last year. Awesome. Doing like a ribbon on the whole E3 yeah, process. That's it. Because this These one's. Make me look like a prick. <laughs> yeah. These ones are going to be more. Um, the, of the because obviously Stick of Truth was the fantasy thing. Mm. This one, from what I've seen of it, looks like it's going to be the more superhero. Yeah, because it's the coon. Based on the the Coon and Friends episodes mm. with Mysterion and that sort of thing. So <laughs> but it's not Obsidian doing it. Is it not? It's some internal Ubisoft development thing. Scandals. Is it, does that mean there's going to be 800 developers working on it? Yeah. Like a standard Across Ubisoft 10 game. Studios. Yeah. And there's going to be collectible with unskippable PowerPoint. credits. Yeah. And, uh, Unskippable credits that last like half an oh hour. Oh god, the Ubisoft credits. Ubisoft credits are the bane of my existence. Uh, but yeah, that brings us to the end of the Ubisoft conference and mm. the end of part one of the E3 extravaganza. Uh, because trust me, there is too much to get through in one part. So um, feel free to do the like, share, and subscribe stuff. Um, keep an eye out for part two, which will be coming momentarily soon. And. Um, Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you shortly. Goodbye. Right.